Hello folks, Ron Whitmire here. Today I want to talk about the construction site hazard of excessive noise. Why is that so important? Because excessive noise can cause permanent hearing loss. And when I say permanent, I mean a hearing loss that cannot be cured, cannot, cannot be restored, even with surgery. And we know that construction sites are notorious for having many very noisy operations going on. Now, a hearing loss can occur uh, suddenly with exposure to uh, an extreme uh, loud noise, like from an explosion, or a hearing loss can occur gradually over time by prolonged exposure uh, to loud noise. How do you know if the noise level at your construction site that you're exposed to is too loud. Well, just as a rule of thumb, uh, there's something called the three foot rule. If your coworker is about two or three feet from you and you have to raise your voice to communicate with your coworker about arm's length distance from you, then the noise level may be too high. There's also sound meters you can use or you can even download an app uh, on your phone to um, uh, to test the uh, sound level. Now, the OSHA regulation is that sound levels in places of employment must be kept below 85 decibels uh, on an average over a eight hour work uh, day. Now, what can be done about excessive noise levels? So what OSHA says is reduce it. You can get quieter equipment move it, move it to a place where there's not exposure to workers, or block it. You can build a sound barrier, barrier around uh, some equipment uh, that's very noisy. Another OSHA regulation requires that an employer is responsible for, for providing sufficient hearing protective devices at no cost to the worker and must also train the workers on their use. So there's several different kinds of hearing protective devices, earplugs, you can have specific uh, formed earplugs for your ear that are professionally uh, done. Um, you can have earmuffs. Now these are specific um, hearing protection uh, devices. These are not music uh, headphones. If your employer refuses to supply you with hearing protective uh, equipment after you've requested it, I suggest you file a complaint with OSHA or if you're a union member, uh, raise the issue with your union rep. And if you are somebody who's exposed to regular loud noises on a construction site, it's a good idea to have regular hearing screening so you're hearing uh, is monitored. Folks, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot me an email. Thanks for watching this video and please stay safe and be well.